Well, I started my love for music, you know, growing up. My parents, um, my mother, she is an eclectic to all the, all the genres. She loved everything, um, mostly pop. Um, she loved soft rock. She was a fan of it all. My father, he was a hip hop head. Um, he loved his rap and he loved him some soul music too. So got that from my father. And then um, when he gave his life to the Lord, he went all gospel. So then I got my gospel side from him. Um, even gospel hip hop, I got it from him. Um, his side of the family is bred it with nothing but artists, you know, and from all, all aspects of art. Um, rather, if you're drawing, painting, we have a, a rock artist um, in the family. We have a gospel group in the family. We have a um, hip hop artist gospel. in the family. Um, it is the four, the Forrest Brothers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. And um, shout out to the Forrest. Shout out to the Forrest. <laughs> shout out to the Leonards. Yep. <laughs> let's, let's get them all in there. Shout them all out. Yes. <laughs> um, so we had a, 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 a bunch of artists in the family. We still do. Talented people. We have a, a comedian um, in the family. Um, yeah, producers in the family. We very, very talented people. So that's where I got the music stuff from. Um, when I started DJing, I actually, I just, I, I, I just kind of fell into it. Um, my first job was at Skateland USA in Grandview, gotcha. like the 98, 99 okay. range. Um, I was 15 years old and. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just two years ago, right? Oh, you're right. Just, you know, just, just a couple of years ago. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't that far away. <laughs> but uh, I, I used to just do the regular stuff. I just, uh, you know, worked the snack bar or passed out the tickets or the skates or whatever. And it was one night, Thursday night. That used to be adult night. The DJ was late. He was big late. Um, and people were already skating on the floor. The um, music that they was playing, it wasn't something that they wanted to really listen to. I knew it was kind of it was kind of whack, so I was like, let me just try to, you know, play something real quick. <laughs> let me just try to help them out until you get here. So got up there, and it probably lasted maybe about 15 or so minutes. It wasn't long at all. You know, got the people skating, having a good time. The DJ come rushing up in there, and he's putting his bags down, and and while he's trying to get set up, um, <laughs> the customers kept coming up to him like, you need to keep her on, keep her on, keep her on. <laughs> And so that's how I started. I said, oh, okay, I guess I'm good at this. So that's, that's, that's how it happened. So first, my name was, first I, when I first started, my name was uh, DJ Eskeezy, which um, Eskeezy was a term of endearment. Um, people, you know, how Ebonics or how, you know, Snoop Dogg did his peasy for sheezy Eskeezy, you know. Um, yep. So when I... <laughs> <laughs> when I got Eskeezy, um, I was, you know, just starting off, you know, a few years in DJing or whatever, and um, it was some, there was some events that people were kind of hesitant to hire me because of my name. Okay. And um, at that point, I was like, well, I guess I need to change it then, you know. So um, Missy comes from a uh, family nickname. Okay. My mother nicknamed me... Uh, um, Missy Ann, Missy Angie yeah. Sue, that's what you. she called me. So Missy she's for short. Mm, so no <laughs> she's <laughs> right. she's from here, shoot. Really? And then my dad's from the south, but she's the <laughs> but Missy it's Ann. Right. Look, so look, 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 <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. So Missy. So I got um, I, I wanted to keep it, you know, keep it simple, keep it something that everybody can be familiar with, you know. So Missy E. You already had a Missy misdemeanor Elliot. So you got. Missy E. That's where I got DJ Missy E from. The ones that stood out the most was uh, I DJed the KCPCAs. Um, I believe it was the second year that the KCPCAs uh, um, started the um, after party. It was an awesome event. Um, DJ 911 was the main DJ on stage and um, for the day party leading up to the actual event, you had DJ Mohit. Shout out to my girls. Yes. And um, it, it, so I did the after party, right? And it was the most biggest, the biggest uh, event that I've ever did was that my first time was that one. Because um, it was, a, you know, a lot of people there. So it was a 
kind of a nervous, nerve-wracking type of situation. Uh, oh my gosh! I, <laughs> oh, I, I'm my nerve. And and he reached out to me. Shout out to uh, Terrell Ray. Um, reached out to me like Wednesday night before the. Uh, I think the event was like Saturday. Yeah, I think. <laughs> so I was like, ah, I can't say no. So, <laughs> so yeah, that I, I, I like that event because it pushed me, you know, it, it pushed me out of my comfort zone. You know, I usually like to prepare, you know, with a lot of time, you know, before the gig. Um, so that one was like, you know, just a few days before I had to get myself together, you know what I'm saying? So get my music together and prepare and, um, you know, just make sure that I was ready for the day. And it was a really awesome event. Um, a lot of people, man, a lot of people. So a lot of things I learned from that event too, you know, what to do next time, what not to do. It was, it was very eye opening for me. Um, uh, another event that I like to do, which I've been doing for the past few years now is the, um, vegan fest. Yeah. Um, shout out to Gigi, mm -hmm. does the vegan food out here in Kansas City. She's awesome. And she throws this festival every year. Um, just promoting, you know, health and wellness. You know, yeah. the vegan food is a, a great way to uh, restart your body, you know what I'm saying? To, to, to basically, you know, get it back to better health. Right. Are you really? Yes. Ah, dope. Yes. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. So you understand the transition. Yes, I do. Um, and in her situation, you know, she kind of was pushed into it because of her health. Yeah. So I just love how God just puts things together. You know, like it, that situation moved her to be the woman that she is today and to help thousands of people in their health journey. So it's, and, then, and then you meet other people along the way that can help build up this, this community of, of uh, healthy, I don't want to say healthy people you know plant-based plant people right. so i love that mm -hmm. it was like it's like a whole movement so great 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 event i love doing it every single year um i learned so much and i actually i mean i tried vegan before and it was i was like I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but she introduced me right. she introduced me to to like the real vegan right. world and it's it's really awesome delicious food there's some people that's you know know what they're doing in the kitchen okay when it comes to vegan so <laughs> I love doing that one. Um, um, I I started my um, that world for um, before the podcast. I did a, a radio station. I was a co-host with a lady on Praise ninety five point three FM. Shout out to Chef Dev out here in Kansas City, still doing this thing um, on Friday nights. It was called Friday Night Hype. Um, I was a co-host with the lovely. And we're still good friends today. Um, India Bridgeport, a.k.a. Hashtag swag. Um, <laughs> shout out to her. That's my girl. Um, we started doing that on Friday nights. It was a three-hour show. We had a blast. It was all, you know, hip-hop, gospel hip-hop, Christian hip-hop music. Um, we had interviews from uh, artists. And, I mean, it was, it was really, really a fun experience. Really an awesome experience. Um, when... We decided to move to the podcast. Um, we we uh, started a show called. We still try to keep it familiarized with the the people that listened on ninety five. Um, called Night Hype Show, and uh, it was just me and her. We were doing our own thing. We were on our own at that point. Uh, we did that for a few years. It was awesome experience. We had to interview like some really awesome people in the city. Wow. We had to interview. We had a chance to interview the now mayor um, of Kansas City. Shout out to Quentin Lucas. Um, before he was the mayor, right. so you know we were over there claiming it like, that, "Yep, that's our mayor. That's right. our mayor." And then he became. We were like, "Ah, we called it to this. That's what we did. That's what we did. We spoke it." So. <laughs> we feel like we did a, we, we made it big. Right, you made it, you're the one that made <laughs> it, despite the bolts. I'm with you, I'm with you. So, we had him on the show, um, we had his mother on the show, we actually had, um, well, every, every season that we did the show, we were, uh, we had a, a set up in different areas, you know, our location, so our first location was at a barber shop, shout out to, uh, Drea, um, and her shop, we, um, had us up there the first year and then the next season we set up at um the black archives 
so we were there and yes on 18th and Vine shout out to them um, I I love that year because um, you know we were able to have a bigger space we had a, a, a room to ourselves we were able to set up you know a little more um, a little more better you know we had like a waiting room for folks and everything uh, so we did we did it there and um, the next year you know corona so uh, kind of messed up everything so we were kind of like potting wherever <laughs> we were like doing it at the car one time we were in the car to park like <laughs> just trying to get content out there but yeah we we did a lot of awesome things we had a lot of interviews with them um, a lot of artists in the in the city um, a lot of local artists in the city we did a lot of um, um, not-for-profit organizations you know boosting their events and things coming up it was a really awesome experience and I, I just love to promote our town because we have just so much going on you know That's good. Mm -hmm. Well, I am everywhere on the socials. I kind of, I don't, I don't mess with Twitter like that no more. Okay. But you can find me on Facebook, DJ Missy E, DJ Space Missy Space E. You can find me on Instagram, DJ No Space Missy E. <laughs> you can find me on Snapchat. You can find me on Threads. You can find me all them other places, you know. I'm here. I'm here. Um, you can also just check me out at, I, I don't have a, a, a place regularly because I'm a mobile DJ so I move around a lot um, I'm not the I'm not really a club DJ um, I actually have um, changed my uh, branding changed my my whole scheme of things in in my uh, business to going gospel starting on the 15th of July Wow. yes so I'm going back only. I'm going back yeah okay. gospel only now I, do, I will still do the community events because I love being out in the community you're non-for-profit events you know where it's that good clean happy music I'm down for all that so I have I have officially on the 15th of July I'll be moving right on over there I still have a bunch of other gigs till then you know so I'm still going to do all that and then boom I'm back with the Lord so <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that move whatsoever at all. 